How's everybody doing? That's what I'm I wish you knew about. well. You Happiness and peace. Right and of course, health. This is where the party is. This is my studio, uh, studio, studio Live. Welcome out. Welcome to my home studio, where we'll be hanging out for the next 45 minutes. I have a special guest. My first special guest. I'm excited. He's uh, one of the people that gave me my first opportunities here. Uh, here in, uh, in Portland. And that's uh, Mr. Norman Sylvester. If you haven't checked him out, you gotta check him out. Norman is um, has been uh, inducted to the Oregon Music Hall of Fame in 2011. Uh, Muddy Award Best R&B Band 2015, 2017, 18 and 19. And he is out there always, always supporting artists in the community. So. Hey Denise, Laurie, Barbara, Lisa, welcome out to the party. Carlo, all right, what's happening? And I have some new music for you. I'm always here in the studio working on something. Something. Hey there, if you're just getting here, please uh, uh, hit that love button right there and just go doom, doom, doom. or is it on that side so hey there Shannon Steve Snabba Lavi Lavi how you doing brother all right nod your head now and I'm gonna be doing a, a song that's a remake of uh, Anthony Hamilton coming from where I'm from How are you guys? Write me something in the comments. Jazzy K. Jazzy K. Keeper of the positivity. And the smart, intelligent quotes that I've never heard. Jazzy. Jazzy K. House. Let me hear you say, yeah. Darlene. Robert. Judy. All right. Come on in to the party. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome out to the Lamb Jam. We're going to have some fun tonight. Wow. Eliana Walworth, Betty, Dore, Laurie. All right. All right. Hey, if you don't mind, uh, as you're coming in the door, if you want to help get the party started, share this to your timeline so people know that we've got some caring and sharing going on, okay? Jenny? Right on, right on. Sylvia. Yasuko. Noguchi in Japan. Hey. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi. All right. Welcome to the studio. You guys rock. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. This first song I'm gonna play for you is called Moon Child. And it goes like this. What's up everybody, put your hands up, come on. Thank you. 
friendly people all across the world <laughs> just sending you you love and uh, i'm just here to play some music for you and um hopefully create some 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 joy and uh, get to know you a little bit um through this monitor which is the last you know, the way i thought that that would happen but the funny thing is this has um just been the part of one of the most fun things i've done this entire last year because um it's just a direct connection to you and we've had over 100,000 people uh, view this the last couple of weeks. So I just have a lot of joy and gratitude, and I want to express that to you. I've got a song for you. I just did a rough mix of it, so this is not like a an official TV track or anything. I literally just mixed this. It's got like 50, 60 tracks and Pro Tools. This is called, this is a, was inspired by Anthony Hamilton. It sounds, uh, I'm not going to say it sounds like the song. It was just inspired by, um, some hits, some kicks off of uh, coming from where I'm from, and it goes like this.
What up, what up, what up, everybody? How are you? What's going on? It's uh, my take on an Anthony Hamilton song. It sounds very loosely. I say very loosely. I like it, but it was inspired by his song, uh, Coming From Where I'm From. And, uh, hey, I just want to welcome out some people. We have a great guest coming on today. It's going to be the first time I'm really excited about it. Um, but I want to just thank a few people. Hold on just a second here. i set this down for one second. Or should I bother setting it down? You guys are so wonderful to come spend some time with me. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I want to say hello to a couple of people. Let's see here. So we have, you know, it has this, uh, you know what's fun is um, I'm learning all these new things every day. <laughs> like this, I think. Check it out. Let's see if this works. Uh, how about that? See, I can take your comments. I can put it on the screen. <laughs> Mona. Hi, Mona. How are you? Thank you for being here. Um, let's see here. Okay, any, anyway, I, I digress. Um, we have a great uh, uh, guest uh, coming in today to join us on on the program. Should we call this a, prog a program? I'm not sure what to call it, but it's just our hang time here in the studio. This is my studio, by the way, um, my microphone and this monitor, the computer. This is what this is what we this is our way of con connecting now, and I'm grateful for it. So uh, thank you so, so much. Um, oh, there's static on the sax mic. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I will check in that. Probably gain's a little too high. Thank, thank you, guys. Yeah, there's still some a few things I'm ironing out um, as I'm trying to figure out how to do a good job of this and make everything sound uh, wonderful. So... I'm going to do, I've got time before Norman gets here to um, play you. E each day I work on something, and it's not per perfect or uh, produced or ready to be a record, but I took a song that I really love. Um, yeah, I got, I got the message. Thank you so much. Some static on the sax mic. Okay, I'll try to, try to figure that, sort that out a little bit. Um, so this next song is just a, it's a version I started messing around here in the studio with. Um, I played the drums and the bass was an old bass part and I put it all together. I put some, you know, played a little, uh, faux guitar on it myself. And, uh, this is what we got. Let me know what you think. Let me know how the saxophone sounds if it's too loud. Check this out. You guys know the song? So I just recorded this today.
There you go. What do you guys think? I did that today. Nice little radio fade, although it's not going on the radio. Not that we know of. <laughs> but uh, I've been learning so much. So much fun. And I think... Um, so we got time. We have time for one quick song. Okay, I'm going to send this out to uh, one of our great fans. <clears throat> she's uh, she's had like, been going through a lot of different things uh, with her health, and um, she's had uh, some trouble uh, with a lot of things lately, like um, about specifically her health. So your health is your wealth. And uh, I want to send this out to uh, Lisa Roach. You know, this is called Grandma's Hands. That's a little bit of um, 
uh, great, late great uh, Bill Withers, one of my favorite songs. I grew up in uh, actually playing saxophone under an, a gentleman um, named Andy Hardwick in Jackson, Mississippi. That's he gave me one of my first gigs uh, right after high school. My grandma was uh, sick. I was very close to my grandma, and um, as a lot of you, I know we we cherish our grandmothers, and uh, so. I went back to Jackson, where I stayed in uh, for quite some time uh, while I was uh, my grandmother was was uh, was was sick, and um, and then uh, I started going out to a few places, and there weren't many, or it didn't seem to be many at the time. And I went to this place called Poets, and Poets, Poets at the time, the only way I can describe it is it. It was like Cheers, um, like the, like the TV show. Uh, it was a, a white tablecloth place. It was always packed and fantastic food, and it had uh, all God's children represented in the, the the place. Everybody from 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 the the city came in. All the players, all of um, I mean, you know, uh, work working people judges the you know everybody so and i love that about that and that's where i got my first my first opportunity and then uh you know i ended up touring all over um opening for bb king with uh gc cameron with the who played with the temptations and i pl i think i played every possible place you could possibly play in the state of mississippi and then at that point i decided i wanted to study study jazz and um I just uh, felt like I was being called uh, somewhere else, and um, so I put in some applications to to colleges, and to my surprise, I got full rides everywhere I, I applied. So, hey, if you don't ASK, you don't GET, so make sure you, uh, if you think that you got that, have some dream in your heart, make sure to get out there and ask ask for it. Anyway, I ended up coming back to Portland, studying under Dave Bardoon, um, who arranged for the Kent, uh, Stan Kenton band. And um, that's where, um, well, let me see if I can do this right, okay? Let me see if I can do this. This is all new for me. So um, that's where I, I ran into um, a gentleman who's gonna join us here soon uh, named uh, Norman Sylvester. And I'm looking for, okay, I see I'm learning how to do this. Um, uh, give me just one moment here. Okay, let's see. And let me see if he's if he is over here. Um, I don't see him online yet. Anyway, how are you guys doing, um, Veronica, Darlene, and uh, Betty? This is fantastic. We're just waiting for for Norman to uh, to come and join us here soon. And um, I have some pictures. And I know I can find them. Uh, here we go. Hold on a second here. We have, let's see, seen some. Gosh, uh, dang now, but okay. Well, I have a whole bunch of pictures. Um, but uh, let's see here. Maybe that's him calling. Is that Norman calling? Okay. Oh, he's calling on the regular phone, though. Hey. Um, Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I, that's Norman calling. He says, are you ready? So, <clears throat> yes, ready. I'm going to text him back. Isn't this funny? We're live. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, call, please. Call Skype. Here we go. <laughs> is this fun? Is this live or is this Memorex? Um, <clears throat> David Spina. Yes. Uh yeah, God bless you. God bless each and every one of you. Let's see here. We're so we're just waiting for. Um, and I was looking for some photos. When when uh, and he's gonna call any moment. I know on Skype. So, uh, or maybe, maybe I'll call him. How about that? Let's see here. Maybe that's what I have to do. Here we go. Let's try this. Let's try. How about I'm gonna call Norman. Watch this. If 
anybody is uh, hanging out with Norman, make sure to uh, let them know we're trying to get in touch. Okay, well, um, let's see here. Okay, well, hey, it's all good. It's all good. So let's see if I have some... Um, Ah, here we go. I'm just gonna start showing you some pictures until he calls. So, if you're watching, Nor uh, if you're talking to Norman, tell him to give us a call on Skype. Um, so let's see here. What have we got? Um, oh, here's a here's a band picture from a long time ago. So that's uh, Rob Shoemaker, uh, Frankie Redding, and this Nick Christmas, Norm Sylvester family. Um, and uh, we have uh, Chris Ho Chris Hollywood, so that's um that's uh and then let's see here what else have we got? Oh, here's one. This is from this is from the Blues Festival a few years ago. Um, so uh, let's see here, and then uh, here's, I'm just going through pictures. Oh, I didn't like that picture. Um. What is this one? Oh, here's a picture from the candlelight. We call it the scandalite. That we had we played like seven years of blues th there um, with Norman when I got back to uh, when I got back to to Portland. Uh, let's see. Let's try to call Norman see if he can. Um, I'm gonna t I'm gonna ask him to uh, see if we can get him to call in. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. Hey, Norman. <clears throat> hey, go ahead and call. Uh, just call the Skype line. We're ready for you. Call me back on Skype. Okay, hold on. We, my computer's stuck, man. We're working on it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, when you get that up and running, just give it a call. try this again here we go because that was coming through he said his uh his computer um had uh crashed or something like that uh let's see here let's try it again here hey thanks for your patience you guys hey write me something in the comments about how your your day is going and what's what's new with you okay let's see here Let's see here. Okay, here we go. There you go. I think we're rocking. There you, okay. there you are. <laughs> I was giving you uh, um, a, an extended introduction. How extended? Just, well, it just uh, there's nothing there's nothing lacking to talk about you with your with your your history uh, with with the city and being the diplomat that you are. So I just you know kept talking and. And then I was trying to figure out this Skype thing, and this is the this is the ver uh, the let's see what what's the right way to say it the um, the version sailing of this particular yes maybe that was the wrong way to say it well we we started working on it this morning we started working on it this morning so let's say it like that oh oh my gosh uh, I was just <clears throat> talking about your 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 history. I mean, he's a busy man. I mean, Nor I'm lucky to even get him on the phone because, because, you know, during this particular, um, yeah, this particular, this particular event, people, people want to talk to you. I know because you are, let's see, I would describe you because I've known you for a long time. So I am a little biased, but, but I'm not because everybody who knows you uh, says the same thing. I just, we, they know you as a, uh, a, a diplomat, a supporter of all the artists uh, here regionally and, and basically anybody that you know, and mm -hmm. very fair and equitable. Like your Nor Norman is just um, he's like he's like like the mayor. Um, <laughs> except I, I told you I'm not going to talk about politics, so just skip that. No politics. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
Because, <laughs> see, it's so easy to get into a, a segue <clears throat> that, that kind of leads to mm-hmm. a place. But, um, but, but anyway, um, hey, I was going to ask you, I had a few questions for you. So okay. what, uh, is there anything you've learned from this whole process uh, that's been happening during this crazy time? What, what, have we lear- what have we learned or what should we learn about, <laughs> <laughs> about each other? And about what, um, I don't know, just uh, freestyle, you know. Well, you know, I've always appreciated what I have. But I think during this time, uh, I've I really learned to appreciate what I've had more. It's been a learning thing for me at my age. And, I, you know, they say you got to learn something every day. So this uh, pandemic has brought me into a whole different space of consciousness, uh, you know, just um finding new ways to calm my mind, finding new ways to help, finding new ways to bond with my family. You know, it's been a really uh, blessed and uh, spiritual time for me. I have been stressed like everybody. I'm stressed out. Uh, You know, everybody's losing money. And, you know, I think Portland people, uh, Portland, Oregon people are just wonderful, wonderful folks, man. We've always been surrounded by this killer a dedicated community. And right now, the random acts of kindness, uh, you know, just the people walking by my house, you know, and, you know, trying to get out of their houses, just walking their dogs and the kids and stuff, saying hello and, you know, social distancing. It's, it's a whole new village thing more than the big city thing. It's more like a village now. We're communicating better. And this stay at home and save lives is a wonderful thing. And everybody's adhered to the government's uh, plan to keep people safe. So I think unity, family, and what's happening here is a wonderful thing that's, uh, that I see. And it's like I say, uh, it's enhancing my consciousness as well. well. You know, talk to us a little bit about uh, what when we talk about doing good. Like I wake up every day um, and we're getting to know each other. Like uh, this, this digital community, the irony of what you just said is that, that, that through this, in some ways, we're becoming closer. Yes. You know, because I think right. it, bre- it breaks down to all the things that, um, that, uh, that we all share as a human. The end, right. you know, irregardless right. of any of the other stuff. Yeah, well, Pat, you know. you're from Mississippi, and I'm from Louisiana, and you know how it was back in back on in the country and, and that whole thing. Everybody looked out for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like everybody had everybody's back. But in the hustle and bustle of the big city, we and um, the age of technology, we have kind of stepped away from that. But we've kind of been pushed back into that that brotherly love situation now. And it's a wonderful, it's a sad situation with the pandemic. And, you know, we send condolences and prayers to the families that's lost loved ones and stuff. And we hope that tests are on the way and things will be better real soon. But the way people are standing together, especially our essential workers, our doctors and nurses and truck drivers and cashiers and janitors and custodial people, all of those folks, man, that, that make me be able to sit at home and feel safe and also to help the sick. Those are the true heroes, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where we got to just really uh, praise those people and give them all the protective gear that they need to do their job. Anybody that's on the front line right now is risking their life. Uh, true. On a, so I'm, I, you know, I'm back to my practical. I just, I'm always, I'm like, a, you know me, I'm just like, I'm thinking, well, what can I do though? You know, so what can we do, you know, to help others during this time? You know? Well, you're doing the one good thing right now. You're, you're creating a conversational platform. We need to talk, but we don't need to talk about how bad the politics are. We need to talk about on the other side of this thing, what are we going to do? How are we going to come back together? Because this is a new normal. We're not going to go back to the old way. It's going to be a new, a new day for all of us. And we kind of adapt to to that because the zoom and the skype that you and i stuck you got me on this morning this is all new to me man <laughs> come on i hadn't even had my first cup of coffee yet aren't you glad we aren't you glad i called norman up at like seven in the morning i'm like hey man hey can yeah, you download man. this app can you yeah can you because 
I'm up at like all hours now. I'm just, um, you know, because I, I, I'm like a kid. I get real excited. You know how I am. I get yeah, excited well, about I, stuff. I appreciate <laughs> I love your enthusiasm too. You've always been been dedicated and you're, you're perfectionist. So what, you know, you, you always do your homework and, you know, I appreciate that about you, Patrick, really. Well, I appreciate you. You know, while I got you here on the line, could you tell us about one or two of your most favorite uh, gigs that you've ever done? Oh, favorite gigs that I've ever done. The saddest gig I've done was the closing of the candlelight, the wrecking ball party. Mm. That was the saddest gig. But it was fun for the fact that we had, we saw so many people we hadn't seen in a long time that was part of that candlelight family. That was the saddest one. The most best gig I've played, or one of the most fun gigs, was when I opened for B.B. King in 1907 at the Arlene Snitzer Hall. And I was, I was a teamster then. I was working down on Swan Island. So uh, I was back at the trucking company the next day. But at like seven, all, seven in the morning, right? Or something? Well, well, about seven, yeah. I went straight from uh, the snits to my house, got the lunch pail, and went down to Swan Island. So, yeah, yeah so that's like you're, you're, you're playing. And if you're playing at the Candlelight, which I remember, because we, I played there, I think, if I'm correct, yeah. correct, about seven years with you of Thursdays. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you started with me when you was 19 or 20. Yeah, and for the people, because we got people here from Japan, from Australia, from the East Coast, from the West Coast. Yeah. Um, so for those of you who don't know what the, the candlelight was, it was the place for blues here. And it was really a developmental place for, for young people. And that's mm -hmm. where you really gave me <clears throat> um, some, something to uh, depend on or early on. Because I yeah. was, man, I was like homeless. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say that's why you, you cut your teeth right there. You got rid of your baby teeth there, man. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, but it was, it was, it was happening. And um, uh, what, you know, it's hard when you're, well, let's say when you are um, when you're seasoned, right, as you are. Right. And you've seen things come and go. Is there any, any advice about the, just the change, um, that we're, we're experiencing, because I know you've seen many. You've seen many changes. Yeah, I, I, what I see now, Patrick, I see the need to, uh, there's a lot of uh, homeless people that need food. You know what I'm saying? Like at the Blanche House and the, mission, the Union Gospel Mission and places like that. You know, uh, if we could do anything for that, uh, if we could test all the seniors to make sure they're safe in their assisted living homes and stuff, those are the ones being hit the hardest. You know, it's just, the low income, we need the testing. I think that we got to use this as a learning process for the whole country. But we as a people are doing what we have to do. I think it's one of the best things that we can do. If you see a need, just see what you can do to help fill that need. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's a first line, a first responder in your family, give them that phone call and tell them how you appreciate what they're doing and you know, because some of them are sleep, sleeping in the garage because they don't want to go into the house to infect their family. So they're sacrificing a lot, man. So those are the people that I shed tears for because they they can't sit home and, you know, get up in the morning, and have a cup of coffee like I do. And I really appreciate that sacrifice. A amen. Amen. Walk us through what um, what what is it? Yeah, it's interesting asking people this. Like a tip. What is a typical day for you now? with this uh, uh, quarantine? Okay, the thing that I look at my honeydew list and I figure out the things that I'm not gonna do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you know, like, you know, paint the house and do that kind of stuff. But I've been working on home projects. I love to work in my yard because I'm a country boy. I like to play in the dirt. So I'm out there working the landscape in my yard. I do that, I practice. I try to post some positive stuff on Facebook. My wife, Paula, helps me with that. We, you know, we post up a, you know, a video call. I believe in you, and we did uh, keep America safe. But you know, when it comes down to it, Pat, it's, this is not about me or you. It's about us. And my, our days are like Groundhog Day, right? But we got to make the best of each day. I exercise because. I'm doing the two-step to the refrigerator a lot of times, too many times. So I want to be able to get through the front door when this thing is open, over. So I'm also uh, 
exercising as well. And also creating, see my, I, if I can create some new music. As an artist, I want to come out of this inspired because there's some ins inspiration here too. And you know, there's some learning, there's some spiritualism, you know, and what if, what is what this virus has did to us make us think more about how equal we are as individuals. We're all the same. If we go out and look up at the sky at night, look at all those stars, that's and realize how small we are in the scheme of things, then we're humble when we think about this virus because it's non discriminatory. And when you're humble, you maybe you become a little more helpful. There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> well that, that that's that's fantastic. Have you have you um, been playing your guitar a little bit during during this this time? I've been playing all of my guitars because I got a lot of them that uh, I hadn't played in a while. So now I'm having love affairs with uh, the guitars that I didn't used to play. So I got them all in racks, and I'll pick up one every day and play it. And uh, each one speaks to me differently. And uh, how many guitars do you have? Uh, right now, about seven. About seven, seven guitars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got them from four hundred dollars to the top, and the, the four hundred dollar one sounded as sweet to me as the expensive one. Now, let me ask you this: Is there something that you're really looking forward to eating, like um, that you can't, that we can't eat right now? <clears throat> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I to mean, eat. do you? Do you and your lovely other half? Do you guys have a you know a place that you go that you're used to oh, going that you can't? Go? Okay, so there's a place in my area called Bandini's, uh, and we, yesterday we got uh, went there. Uh, we uh, I got the uh, rosemary chicken lasagna, and they got something called bacon bread, which is like a pizza, but it's like bread, and you eat it along with that marinara sauce. Man, it's the bomb, man. It's really good. So, yeah, you know, we we, we uh, treat ourselves every once in a while. But my wife, she can cook, man. So she laid down some stuff that's, uh, that's all I need, man. A pot of beans. You know, I'm a country boy. You can give me a pot of beans and some cornbread. I'm good for three days. <laughs> three days. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> well, what else, what else would you want to just share just to, on a community basis that, um, that might uh, uh, uplift uh, people? You know, well, I just think that everybody uh, just have to stay positive. And there's a lot of um, people that are feeling depressed and lonely and angry. Um, you know, they should talk to someone about that anger, that loneliness, reach out. And if you know someone that you think that might be feeling that way, reach out to them. You know, even though uh, we can't get out, we can reach out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we can work together as a community until we can stand side by side again. And I think that's what I, we have to strive to do. Just do whatever you feel in your heart. Let your heart lead you to that. But don't let the politics or the virus scare you. We have to stay home and save lives until it's safe enough to go back to what we call normal. You know, that's like going back to work, going to, because music, musicians are going to be hit pretty hard with the social distancing. We're going to be kind of hard-pressed in the future. So that's going to be another thing we'll have to get used to. So what we're doing here might be our new normal for a minute. Yeah. Well, Norman, hey, thank. I just want to thank you so much <clears throat> for being on the show. And I'm looking forward to that time that we could actually get together in person again. Yeah. yeah. And uh, thanks for spreading your... Um, your voice of positivity and uh, hope, and uh, and uh, I hope we can all uh, uh, do that together. I'm gonna I'm going to um, play into a song uh, by Wayne Shorter called okay. "Beauty and the Beast," and um, I will see you see see you soon. So see you soon, man. Yeah. So uh, keep doing, yeah. keep on doing what you're doing. We appreciate you being out here, man. Doing spreading the music around. I, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. It means the world to me. Thanks so much, Norm. Norman Sylvester, everybody. I think. And uh, oh, check this out. I think I have. Wait, here we go. The way I got something for you. Wait, what is? Just right. applause. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. See ya. All right. Here's a song. It's called Beauty and the Beast. 
is on my new record. Hey, if you're just getting here, write something in the comments. Hit that love button. There you go. 
there you go. There's no radio fade on that. That's straight out of the studio. A nice little mix um, that we did for you. Hey, just welcome out. Thank you for spending uh, each day at 7 uh, here with me. It's called uh, Studio Live at 7 o'clock with Patrick Lamb. Uh, I am. I'm Patrick. And uh, we hope uh, you enjoyed our first interview with uh, Norman Sylvester. Uh, and uh, really a legend in the, in the city. And um, uh, Jerry Lopez. Hey, brother. Man, Jerry Lopez, what an honor to just, uh, you know, it's funny because I see some people more now with this whole crazy thing happening than you do. Because you gotta be, uh, you got to be careful what you wish for because I wished to be busy in the music business and, and with music and people because I love both. And we, you know, I, I got that wish. I've been playing 150 or 200 events a year, which, which is great. Um, but a lot of times uh, you can get through another year and you're like, wow, you know, I wish I had connected with Jerry Lopez. Jerry, man, I saw, if you haven't seen his, his uh, last posting with a beautiful, incredible song, it was late at night. And I was up, I confess, and, uh, you know, looking, and I, uh, Jerry played the song, and it was just straight from the heart, and uh, you, sh you should go check it out, um, uh, uh, Santa Fe, uh, down there at the Horns in, in Vegas. It's really a, a tell everybody hello, and a, what an honor to have ever sat in with you guys, and um, what, a, what a joy. How much joy does that band create? Uh, so, um, thank you, Jerry and Laurie. Yes, uh, Shannon. Davina, Patrick Solis, Jordan Harris, a, f a fantastic, fantastic singer. If you haven't checked out Jordan Harris, holy smokes, uh, can, can, can really sing. Got to check, check him out. So uh, at any rate, um, thank you for being here, being part of this. And um, uh, I'm, I'm going to take you out now with one more song. Uh, I've got a bunch of... Uh, of uh, emails and texts. Um, I just want to thank some people. I want to thank, um, uh, it's hard for me to keep track of all this, but um, I'm getting a little better. So I want to thank, I wanted to thank um, uh, Marilyn uh, Miller, who bought all of my CDs after she saw the show two, two days ago. I got an email from her. <clears throat> and we've had a ton of people um, just checking in and becoming you know more connected and i would love to become more connected with you worldwide wherever you're at in australia or japan we have a whole J japanese constituency here now um uh, that, that gets up tadayoshi gets up at like uh, he checks in i think it's noon there when the show show goes on we have people on the east coast west coast and los angeles so so uh, thank you for 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 being here um yeah people were asking uh, the, the tip jar is just all that information is at the top of my page. It's just Patrick at PatrickLamb.com, uh, the PayPal thing or Venmo or Cash App, all that stuff. But um, that's not why I'm here. I'm just here to share <clears throat> share some music with you. But we did have uh, five different sold-out concerts cancel right before this that were um, – uh, so we're, you know, we're – this is definitely a whole new world. But anyway, I'm going to finish this up with – a song called Savoir Faire. Uh, this is produced by Darren Ron, who's going to be on the program here this week. Uh, please uh, do me a favor and share this to your timeline. Invite people to your group. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, so we can kind of increase um, the, the love connection. Alrighty. Uh, God bless you guys and, and good night. Here. <laughs>
much, everybody. God bless each and every one of you. Hey, come back tomorrow night. I'm going to do this for the foreseeable future. And uh, I'm going to write something new for you. Please write me something in the comments. Don't be, don't be shy. Write me something in the comments. And, uh, and we're going to say goodnight to you. Here's my song called It's All Right Now. It's going to be all right. That's my message to you. Everybody, it's going to be all right. So just hang in there and keep stepping. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Have faith. And do that something. Do something for somebody that you can help with. And uh, you guys are a special group of people. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. He always wearing them Japanese burgers. See you tomorrow night. that love button. Right on, girl. Look here. It's a love button. It's a Jiffy yeah. cornbread freezer jam kind of moment. Get them dates out of here. Turn that grill. Uh-huh. Get on up and...